Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow the trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is to do, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners, so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others. To be fast. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasted, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. We're going to have a truly uh, trilingual celebration today because our league is signing and I have asked to translate for me so that I can speak in English and she will speak in Spanish. Okay. As we begin this Lent, But then he said, sometimes, 
God chooses what we have to do to repent. Dios es el que escoge lo que nosotros vamos a hacer para arrepentimiento. And I remember very well that year. Yo me recuerdo muy bien de ese año. Because after Ash Wednesday, Porque después del miércoles de ceniza, I had to have a colonoscopy. Yo tuve que tener una colonoscopia. And the doctor woke me up. Y el doctor me despertó. And he said to me, Father, I have very bad news for you. You have a big tumor in your colon. And you needed surgery yesterday. So that was my event in 1998. At the very tender age of 37, And trust me, at my age, it feels very tender at 37. I had to face a diagnosis of cancer. Nobody likes that. I had a tumor the size between a golf ball and a tennis ball. Praise God, it was all contained. So those of you that know medical science, I had a colon resection, and then they reconnected it. Too much information, don't worry about it. The thing is that this year, I think we're actually having both choices. I hope that you have chosen what you want to do for this Lent. Hopefully in prayer you have given some thought about what this Lent is going to be about for you. Some of you may be in the other category. That you're going through some suffering. Some struggle. Some problem. And in a way God has chosen Lent for you. But as we look at the world today, I believe God has chosen Lent for everybody in the world. As we look at the struggles of the world today, as we see the struggles of the Ukrainian people, as we see the threats unheard of in recent history of nuclear war, and as we see people really suffering, being separated from families, being placed at the risk of instant death and really wondering where is God in all this we have certainly uh, Lent ahead of us so my brothers and sisters as we pray today let us ask the Lord to help us live deeply this Lent. That we may not think of it as any other Lent. Actually, every year it's a different Lent. And perhaps this year that's more noticeable and clear than in other years. Yesterday it was Mardi Gras. And I walked around our neighborhood here. Those of you who live here in the neighborhood, 
You know it was a very lively day. Muy vivo. Muy vivo. People took a lot of time. I've seen costumes that I had never seen before. La gente muchas cosas que, que no They prepared well. Esta vez se muy bien. Fancy costumes. Se pusieron con unos, eh, con bien elaborados. Bien elaborados los, los disfraces que And everybody you saw out there, y todas las personas que ustedes vieron allá, they would say happy Mardi Gras. Le decía feliz día de ella. With a big smile. Con una gran sonrisa. People getting along. Las personas se llevaban bien. And I was thinking to myself, yo estaba pensando a sí mismo, if we would celebrate Christian celebrations like that, si nosotros eh, celebráramos este todo tipo de fiesta religiosa así de esa manera, that we would wish everybody happy day of the Immaculate Conception. Happy day of the Assumption. Blessed Holy Week. Have a blessed Lent. But we don't do that. We don't live like that. And tonight, you will have the sign of the cross on your forehead. When you leave the church, you will be a visible sign of your faith. Don't waste that opportunity. Allow people to know where you were. Allow people to enter into what Lent is all about by your example. And just remember that sometimes we choose what we want to do for Lent. In other times, God is making that choice for us. I believe this year is that kind of year where God is calling us to be true disciples, to share our faith, to speak about our faith, and especially to make Lent and Holy Week a very special Lent and Holy Week right here in our parish. Amen.